Hi, this is Ty. In this video, I'll show you a quick and easy way to create this effect in Photoshop. First, place the image you want to apply the effect to. Then click this part of the panel at the bottom of the layers section. From the adjustment layers, add a solid color layer. Choose white. Next, select that layer and press Command J on Mac or Control J on Windows to duplicate it. Double click the thumbnail of the duplicated layer and choose any color you like. For now, hide both of these color fill layers. Now let's create the shape we want to cut out. You can use shape tools, but I recommend using a ripped asset. There's a link to a recommended site where you can download this asset in the description. Place the shape where you want to make the cut. Then hold Command or Control and click the thumbnail of the shape layer. This creates a selection based on that shape. You can delete the shape layer afterward. Now show the previously hidden layers. Select the layer mask of either one of the fill layers, then go to Edit and choose Fill. Fill it with black. To add the same mask to the other layer, hold Option or Alt and drag the mask from one layer to the other. This creates the cutout effect. Now let's add the ripped texture. Between the two color fill layers, hold Option or Alt and click to create a clipping mask. Select the mask on the white color fill layer, then go to Filter, Distort and choose Ripple. Adjust the values to make it look good. Now it looks like it's torn, but it still looks a bit flat. Let's make it feel more dimensional. Click on the right side of the white color fill layer to open the layer style panel. Scroll down and add drop shadow. If you're unsure how to adjust the values, feel free to use my settings. Here's a quick breakdown of the structure section. Distance controls how far the shadow is from the shape. Spread adjusts how intense the shadow appears, and size determines how soft or sharp the shadow edge is. That's it. And with that, design is complete. How was it? Pretty easy, right? Subscribe for more creative tutorials. You'll find me on Instagram and TikTok, and my posters are available for purchase too. All the links are in the description. Thanks for watching. See you next week.